Hey you guys, so welcome back to my channel. It is your favorite girl, A. Marie. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, welcome. If you're an original Domino Gym, hey boo, I see you. So today we're gonna be doing something that I've never done on my channel. So listen, you guys. <laughs> listen, listen, hear me out, hear me out. I'm losing my mother mind over here okay so with the quarantine and everything that's going on y'all i am really losing it <sighs> i've been talking to my twin makeup shay here on youtube if you guys don't know my twin if you i don't know where you've been if you don't know my twin i will have her channel linked up and down below in the cards and in the hot box but you guys i've been talking to her and content is coming out Content is constantly going, it's constantly coming out. I got a lot of videos scheduled already. Things are steady coming out, but in real life, in the present time, y'all, I'm losing my mind. I don't know what to film. I don't know what to bring to you guys or nothing. I bought a little bit of things here and there online, but I haven't really been purchasing anything. All of the hauls and stuff you guys have seen. I recently bought it before the COVID started, but it's just now coming out on my channel. So there's a lot of new products and stuff like that. I don't know what to do. My twin came up with something that I've never done on my channel. I was like, you know what? I feel like filming, but I don't know what to film. I don't know how to like be like, yay, there's a new video out. You know, like I don't know how to do that right now considering the world is like, the world is ridiculous right now. So she was like, you know what, why don't you do um, tutorials on the new products? And I was like, yeah, I got it. I can do that, but I've been, you know, uploading my first impressions and makeup tutorials and it's just not there. So what else can I do with the new products? Besides, I mean, be off camera and play with my damn self, you know? So she was like, you know what, why don't you try Palette bingo. What? What is that? Oh, let's try it. You're gonna hear people in the background. Sorry. I chose the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette with Morphe. I just hauled this, I just hauled this in the newest haul that I did. And here is the palette. And you guys, I've been dying to jump off into this palette. I did see a YouTuber do a certain look with this palette and initially that's the look that I was gonna film with this palette but since my twin came up with the palette bingo, I was like, you know what? Let's make it fun and let's try the palette bingo. All right, you guys, so there are 35 shades in this eyeshadow palette and i pulled up the generator i put the max at 35 the minimum at one so let's generate first number is 26 and the first one we got is empowered so let's generate again eight and i can already see that number eight is no joke <laughs> This is the third one. 13, what? 13 is bougie, you guys. Look. Six. Oh my God, you guys. Number six is Ryder Diamonds. 30. Y'all, not my journey. All right, you guys, I pulled y'all in a little bit closer and this is what we got. This is the exact order of the swatches. Empowered, no joke, bougie, Ryder Diamonds, not my journey. so we're just gonna you know have some fun with it like I said there's nothing really different 
about my technique. So, so, so far this yellow, no joke, reminds me of the yellow in the Juvia's Place Zulu palette. That is one of my favorite yellows out of any palette I ever owned or tried. So I'm really liking this and it didn't take too much to build up on me. Or maybe I should have started out with not my journey first because it's not going too well. All of the shadows so far has a lot of kickback. And like I said before, it's not a big deal to me, but if some of you guys don't like the kickback, then I'm just letting you know that it's there. But I don't need to spray Bougie because she is given. dig into Empowered. She's more of a pressed shimmer light. She's not picking up as good. She's more creamy in a creamy stiff way. She's a pretty color though. But I bet you she'll work better if she was on my finger, but this is too close to the edge for me to play around with. With the end of the edge and fade it up some. And of course we're gonna have to go back in because just the way I do my makeup. We're gonna have to fix this later. gonna touch the brow bone with it. So here we are with the finished look, you guys. This is not my best look, 
but yet it's not my worst look of all. So doing the palette bingo is kind of a catchy, fun way to doing a makeup look and challenging yourself. But I didn't have too much of a challenge to work with due to the fact that I had more shimmers than I feel like if I had one more matte, I could have pushed my challenge to the limits in my opinion. Um, I don't know, you guys let me know how y'all feel about this look. Let me know your thoughts down below. I did use my Shop My Stash products to create the rest of the face as well as some new products. I think it came out pretty cute. I think, like I said, I could have done better, but you guys be the judge and let me know what you feel down below. Um, this was really fun. If you guys would like for me to do this palette bingo yet again or a few more times, let your girl know down below in the comments, but this is the finished look.